Hello guys and welcome back to another video. It is me, Ego, and today we are back in Clan Gen with our newest clan, Iris Clan. And today we have one of our warriors, Laurel Pelt, on a border patrol with his leader and his deputy. And he found a wounded cat on the side of the Thunder Path. And he doesn't know what to do, so he'll, he'll see the cat, he'll say Green Root, who he respects. Well, I assume he does, because he is his deputy after all. Or she, I'm not sure. And Green Root will say to precautiously proceed. The cats attempt to carry the cat back to camp, but the cat passes on the way. They stopped the they stopped to bury the cat before continuing home. I don't know what Laurel Pell will do. She's very young and she's very bold, but she might be incredibly hurt by what she just did. The death of a cat in her arms might haunt her a bit, but that's really serious for the first episode. So I'm just gonna introduce you to the cats and then we can get more into that deeper lore later. So our leader is Wildstar and he is a senior cat who founded the clan, uh, named Iris Clan. You might notice here, they don't have a lot of irises around them, so why would you name the clan Iris Clan? There's no irises. And the reason is, his true love, Iris, who he met when he was around 20 moons old-ish, maybe like 10. Willow. Okay. <laughs> Willow needs to interrupt all my recordings. Okay, as I was saying before, Willow Clan, or not Willow Clan, Willow rudely introduced, um, interrupted me, is Iris was his first love, his only love, his, his Roman Empire, <laughs> um, and then she died. And, well, he originally named it after her while she was deputy, as you can see here. And then she died, and now he's gone a little crazy ever since. And he died a long time ago. Um, or she, sorry. Iris died a long time ago. So Wildstar has been a little wild for a while. Um, uh, which gets to our deputy, Greenroot, um, who was on the patrol, who saw a Tulek recently. Tulek object. Maybe the kitty, maybe it was the kitty pet who died then. Who knows? She is currently the deputy who is responsible. Um, uh, does she have any family tree? No, she does not. Okay. Blaze Stripe is the medicine cat, and her parent is with her adoptive mother is Wisteria Gaze the Elder. Um, right here. That's not Wisteria Gaze. Wisteria Gaze the Elder, right here, is her mother, and her stepbrother is Cloud Stripe, right here. Who she doesn't really like. I guess she doesn't really um, like her brother. She's very jealous of her brother. Um, which might tell tale on some drama. She he feels comfort in Wisteria Gaze. How do you feel about Stripe? Oh, okay. They just don't like each other. And Cloudstripe also doesn't like Piper Paw. Willow loves playing in plastic. I guess. Willow. Anyways, Cloud Stripe. He's a senior adult. She's a senior adult as well. They're pretty close in age for not actually being related or littermates. He's feeling nervous. Next is Puddle Fern, who has an apprentice named Ter an apprentice named Terra Pot and it is a deep star clan bond blonde. Yes. Puddle Fern is blonde. No, he is itching to explore the land beyond the clan's territory, so we might send him on a border patrol. And then we have Laurel Pelt, of course, who we came across in the beginning. She's a very young female, like we saw, and she has an apprentice, Piper Paw. And Piper Paw is a very young female adolescent who is very insecure, but she she really tries her best. She's very observant. Um, Terra Paw, who is just made an apprentice, whose mentor is Petal Fern, is quite gloomy and interested in the dark forest. 
Hmm. And then we have our elders, Ravenplume and Wisteria Gaze, who are friends. Ravenplume. Okay, well, I'll. Get up here. You're ruining my recording. Ravenplume is playing a prank on Puddlefern. She's kind of an. She's kind of the mischievous elder. But she also has a very keen eye. And she noticed Wildstar and. Sorry. Iris's romance, and then when Iris was slowly dying, she realized. Actually, does this say how she died? It doesn't say, does it? How? I wish it said. I swear it used to say. I guess she doesn't. Well, I'm just gonna say it's a sickness, and Raven Plume realized her sickness slowly gained stronger and stronger. And Wisteria Gaze, um, also with a keen eye. So she's, they're kind of friends. They're kind of elder friends. But that's all for the cats. And now let's actually get started. I haven't played Clanjet in so long. You might be falling asleep by now. <laughs> but we'll send Blaze Stripe on a patrol <laughs> with Cloud Stripe. Uh, very dramatic, I know. And we'll, they can just go on air patrol. Blaze Stripe is on a mission to find Lungwort now that Greenleaf is here. As the only reliable cure for Yellow Cough, they're determined that Iris Clan won't run out of it. They take along a warrior escort to help. I think Wisteria I. What's her name? Gaze, Wisteria Gaze, was like, Go out with your brother, Blaze Stripe. Like, you need to you need to be, um, friends. Like, I don't want to die with ill will between you two. So, she'll proceed. It takes them all day, but eventually, finally, Blaze Stripe spots the speckled leaves they've harvested. They've been looking for. So crucial to harvest while the growing season is upon them. For just a second, they feel the weight of their responsibilities lift, and the strength of the relief catching them off guard. Interesting. And then we'll send out Puddle Fern, Terra Paw, Piper Paw. My mouse is so loud. Maybe I'll try and be a little quieter. Then go on a border patrol. When walking along the border, your patrol notices a Roar Clan patrol renewing their scent marks up ahead. A little scratch in her head. And Terrapaw and Piper Paw, very young cats, and Puddle Fern, who's very adventurous, they might antagonize. Your patrol stands tall and approaches the Roar Clan cats with insults and threats. They need to be sure that Roar Clan knows how strong Iris Clan cats are. Hyperpaw spits and hisses until the other patrol leaves the area, intimidated by how pat your patrol is acting. Relations with Roar Clan have has worsened. Okay. Not a lot happened this moon, but we do know that Piperpaw and Terrapaw are very prideful. And I think Puddlefern, for being 60 moons old, he, he acts like a little child. Truly. A little time skip. Greenroot has gotten pleased. Great. Wisteria Gaze finds a loner named Myrtle who joins the clan. The loner decides to take on a more clan-like name and is now called Myrtle Acorn. Myrtle Acorn. Interesting. Raven Bloom wasn't looking out where they were going and tripped over a small trunk, but came out of it with only their pride bruised. Where is this Myrtle Acorn? Kinda wanna change your name to some Myrtle, Myrtle Ghost. I like Myrtle Ghost. A nervous yet great speaker. Likes. Um, doesn't like Blaze Stripe. That's upsetting. Why doesn't nobody like Blaze Stripe? Trending to growing herbs. Cat toggles. <gasps> wow. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay. Blaze Stripe. Likes Piper Paw. Laurel Pelt. Wild Star. Puddle Fern. Just really doesn't like Terra Paw. And Cloud Stripe and Myrtle Ghost. Does Cloud Stripe know Myrtle? No. Thinks about Star Clan, okay. Okay, we're gonna send out Piper Pot and Terra Paw. 
on a patrol with these th four. It can be hunt a training patrol, actually. Puddle friend suggests this might be a good chance for cats to practice new fighting techniques, particularly with the new apprentices here to learn with the apprentices here to learn from them. Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. Puddle fern. Clearly, Laurel Pelt is nervous. Still probably a little shaken from seeing someone die. And then Puddle fern here is just a child. So that was very not useful. I guess Laurel Pelt didn't go on patrol. Maybe she stepped out at the last second, and I guess. Myrtle Ghost. Green Root. Green Root's sick. No, he has fleas. She has fleas. So it's not that bad. Cloud Stripe. Hunting Patrol. Your patrol comes across a squirrel. In, it's engrossed in nibbling at a morsel beneath the tree. Your patrol narrowly misses the squirrel as it's alerted by a bird's call. A very small thing. And I think Wildstar doesn't even want to go out sometimes. So I guess Green Root... And Blaze Stripe will go out. Blaze Stripe has to attend to one of their grimmer jobs as a medicine cat. The grounds where Iris Clan goes to mourn their dead needs to be tended to. They're bringing along Green Root as their assistant for this trip, and the two cats head out in relative silence. Maybe that's why Wildstar didn't come with. He couldn't face Iris. Even though there's nothing different about this place, other than the serenity it was chosen for. Blaze Sharp always feels that the grief and love their clanmates express here is seeped into every corner. They tidy the grounds, collecting rosemary as they work. It feels appropriate for the plant to grow here when its herbs are used to hide the scent of death. Yikes. And I guess he can go out on a border patrol. Mm, wild star. The four clan scent marks on this area of the border seem to be a little more faint than usual, especially with such hostility between the two clans. It could be an opportunity to mark further the interwar clan land. He's going to antagonize them. Opportuni opportunity or trap? It's possible to succeed if it's either or both. Wildstar charges across the border, straight into Roar clan territory, and straight past the patrol line and wait till they ambush them. Him. But one of the patrol is just a little farther to the side than all the others. Just a little, just enough. And instead of springing into the trap and getting away, instead of springing the trap and getting away scot free, Wildstar falls to it. Wildstar, you're crazy. No, you're actually crazy. Like, oh my gosh. I don't want to read all those. Nothing interesting happened. Terrapot always thought Ravenbloom had figured had it all figured out, so they're surprised when Ravenbloom asks for help. I mean, the very prideful Ravenbloom is. Plume is. And is there a way? For, no, that's life gem. Not. Whatever. Okay. Who do you you like? Everyone. Okay, Raven Plume likes everyone. Terrapaw, what are your thoughts? Piper Paw, you like her just well enough. Willow, please stop flying in the bag. Phew. Raven Plume, yeah, okay, I already saw this. Wisteria Gaze. She likes Cloud Stripe a little. She, she actually likes both of her kids easily, but she, wait, Blaze Stripe, maybe if I just type Stripe, okay, she likes Cloud Stripe a little more, but respects Blaze Stripe more and trusts them, I don't know, I really don't know, Willow, please stop. Laurel Pelt is missing Iris, even though they never met. I don't know how to take that. Myrtle Ghost wonders how Greenroot is going, doing, how, how she's doing. Do you know her? You don't even know her. Maybe I'll send you guys on a patrol together. I suppose Myrtle Ghost, maybe I'll send just another random cat. Then you can bring your apprentice. And it can be a hunting patrol. If there's a thunderpath, they'll proceed. The 
patrol crosses the thunder path and can hunt on the other side. Thank goodness. Tons of prey is bought back. Piper talking about Laurel Pelt and Cloud Stripe training. Cloud Stripe is the willow. I literally cannot deal with you. Please just pick a spot and lay down. Cloud Stripe is the leader of the training group today. Always a good choice for the role. Interesting. Maybe he's this teaching. Always a good for choice for the role. Skilled at explaining things. Willow. No, actually, stop. She's finally laid down. Always a good choice for the role. Skilled at explaining things, which is especially beneficial for the apprentices, if they can get them to listen, that is. Commanding attention, Cloudstripe takes the patrol coat through the familiar steps to the warrior code as they walk the territory. No, but the... No, but have they considered what the rule truly means? Would they follow it at their own death? To their friends? To a kid? Having truly reflected on their dedication to the code. Um, I'm gonna write that down. Very good. Teaching young apprentices and very dedicated to the code. What moon is this? Moon two. Why no? Finally got that figured out, and then we'll send these two on a patrol. Mmm. Wild Star is unusually quiet. When prompted, what's wrong with Wild Star? He comments that they could not help but think of what legacy they would leave behind if Star Clan called the Wild Star. Wild Star. Blaze Stripe and Wild Star spend their time on the patrol discussing how to Starkland. The end of their life did not mean it was the true end. Even in Starkland, cats had their role to play. Wild Star's legacy should, would shine brighter than any star. Comforted by these words, he thanks Blaze and helps bring back the herbs. Wild Star. I think he's he's truly he's going he's going crazy. Iris gives a, a wild blotch the life for instincts. And gives them their new name, Wildstar. Hmm. Iris. You give the life for instincts. That's so interesting. Okay, let's get. Green Root is free of fleas at last. And Raven Plume is wiped off. No! Wildstar has been following the progress of Piperpaw for moons. Wildstar has been following the progress of Piperpaw for moons, and feels that it is finally time for them to get their new warrior name. They are granted the name Piper Lotus in honor of their strong will. Terrapaw goes on a nice long walk with Piperpaw. Cloud Cloudstripe thinks Greenroot was nice to them today. Of course, Pillow Firm playfully teases Terrapaw for missing a catch. Wildstar swaps her pair with Laurel Pelt. Aww. Laurel Pelt and Wildstar might be very good friends. Because I just feel like they can bond with, about death. Um, which is really sad. Greenroot approves of Piperpaw's recent efforts. Oh, Raven Blue can't help but laugh when Wisteria tells a funny joke. Blaze Stripe accuses Terrapaw. Blaze Stripe accuses Terrapaw of complaining over something trivial and wasting their time. Blaze Stripe feels ignored by Raven Plume. Willow! Stop playing with the plastic bag. Blaze Stripe feels ignored by Raven Plume. Raven Plume is complaining that Terrapaw never does anything helpful. Piper Lotus thinks Wildstar is being thoughtful of others, and Laurel Pelt hisses a green root over something small. High negative back. 
And Myrtle Ghost is jealous that Terra Pop went on patrol without them. Um, I really don't know. Okay, we need we need Cloud Stripe out here. We need a training patrol. Terra Pop and Miss had a division from Star Clan. Terra Pop feels deeply privileged and f I am. How many times has Willow crinkled something in the last however long I've been recording? Oh my gosh. Anyways, like I was saying, Terra feels deeply privileged and far more at peace after confiding in them. Nice. Piper Lotus. Bloodthirsty. Can go out with Myrtle Ghost, Laurel Pelt, Green Root. Hunting. There's a spring in their steps as the cats head out. Today is looking like a good day for hunt hunting. The hunting is easy and the company is good. Good. Okay. It's the same thing I just did. Okay. How is everyone doing? Wonders how Cloud Stripe is doing eavesdropping on Puddle Fern, checking up on the warriors. Thinks Green, Ro Green Root is doing a great job as deputy. <gasps> Ugh. No, no, this is, this is a mistake. That is like your stepmom. That's kind of weird. It's like really weird. Ew. Puddle Fern itching for some excitement, wondering if they'd be a good swimmer. Saw a tula kit play with the dog. Saw a tula kit play with the kitty pet. Is wondering what the inside of a tool. Why is there so much tool like stuff? Um, let me see this. Please, 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 please. Okay. 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 We're actually gonna make you guys mate. Because I cannot have. Um. I just can't have this anymore please tell me okay Whew. it's gone okay anyways and that's all for today's moon wild star has gotten a stomach ache and laura pelt has a runny nose how is everything doing <gasps> mm, well that fits your character because you're not supposed to like anyone anyway after, um, whatever. Ooh, Green Root really likes Terrapod, but I think that's her apprentice anyway. Green Root likes Laurel Pell. Things I'm not expecting. The things I'm not hoping for. It's, it's, it's really random, some of these things. Puddle Fern. Okay, I expected as much. Doesn't like Cloud Stripe or Blaze Stripe. That's interesting. Feels so. That's so cute. I literally love them. Okay, now. Maybe, maybe Wisteria Gaze was so keen on looking in Wildstar's life because she had a crush on Wildstar when they were younger. Um, that's interesting. How old are you? Terrapot, I really want to see if you guys can go on patrol. Yeah, we're just gonna proceed through this because I don't have much time left because I don't want this video to be freaking a quotillion miles long, which is not proper terminology. That's okay. Blaze Stripe leads the patrol to explore Iris Clan's territory and bring back any herbs they can find. Their whiskers want to twitch with every range up that hits them, but in the clan that doesn't have the luxury. But in the clan they don't have the luxury to sit away from the weather. Yet Lungwort was gathered. Okay. We're on moon five. Wildstar no longer has a stomach ache. Raven Ravenplume has recovered from White Cop, and Cloudstar woke up with a mild headache, but went about their date anyway, trying to ignore the nagging pain. 
Hmm. Anyway, I'm gonna look for high positive effect. Puddle Fern, Puddle Fern is letting Myrtle go share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better. Any more high effects? Wildstar is surprised to hear Laura Pa express and an ideal they can agree with. You guys are really friend. And Greenroot thinks about how lucky they are to have someone like Terrapa as a friend. Interesting. Blaze Stripe is sharing tongues with Piper Lotus. Raven Plume is letting Puddlefern share their troubles with them. Any more high effects? No. That's it. Um. Wisteria, you already have a mate. Wisteria, you already have a mate. I don't like that. Terrapa, Terrapa's 12 minutes old. Yet he's not fully trained up, which is a little embarrassing. Terrapa, do you have a crush? On Piper, well I know you do, I see it. On Piper Lotus? Interesting. Very, very, very interesting indeed. I kind of saw that one come in. I mean, they went on walks together outside. Like, you don't just do that now, do ya? Green Root. Still has a tiny crush on Laurel Pelt. And that's still the same. Okay, that's gonna be all for today's video. But if you'd like to see more, like and subscribe. I know it's pretty not very entertaining but you know i try my best anywho i'll see you guys later i freaking love this duo see you guys later ciao